Hey there everybody, this is NDM here, welcoming you back to another episode of Let's Play Congress Pocket Tales. Right, so in the last episode, we was in Claw Swamp, and I said that we was looking for red presents. Well, I did that off screen, and turns out I have got all the red presents in there. And also turns out that we can go into the catacombs. I don't know why it didn't let me go in there in the last episode, but I just tried this now, and you can go in there. So, I don't know what the heck all that was about. Saying that I couldn't go in there because I didn't have all the invitations and all the red presents, but I don't even have all the invitations all the red presents and it's now let me in there, I don't understand that. Alright, so this is the final world in the game, believe it or not. Yeah, just this random cave that we have here, but we have a lot of nastiness in here. We have to solve a lot of puzzles as well, so it's going to be more puzzle solving get through here. As far as I know, there is no real final boss in this game. You don't actually fight the evil acorn. You have to, like, um... Well, actually, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but... Yeah. I'm not going to spoil what happens. Okay, right, so here comes our first puzzle of the cave. Um... Right, I want to try... I want to get all my, um... I, uh, future plans out the way, I want to tell you what's going on after this LP because this, this is basically coming towards an end now and it's about time that I start saying what I'm going to be doing once this LP is finished. Well, once it is finished I will be doing um, I will be carrying on with Mother 1 and I will um, yeah, I'll be carrying on with Mother 1 and there won't be another LP until I get my new laptop, so Mother 1 will be the main LP until that happens, and I won't be getting my new laptop until the, my birthday, which is this month, so we don't really have to wait that long until I get my new laptop before I can start recording, because I don't want to start recording a new LP and then have to transfer the save state of that LP on a USB stick to my new laptop from this one, so... Yeah, it's just best if I carry on with Mother 1 after this game is finished, and then when we get my new laptop, uh, I should be able to record much more better videos by then, and also be able to upload faster and quicker, because that's one of the main issues why I haven't been getting videos out a lot as what I used to, is because that it takes so long for me to get videos up onto YouTube that it becomes kind of tiresome that I have to wait ages because the laptop freezes up halfway through the process or the laptop shuts off and then I have to restart the whole process over again. It's just a huge giant pain in the ass. so <laughs> it's just best if I wait until I get my new laptop before I start doing new LPs and stuff. Uh, Mother 1 though, <laughs> when I do get my new laptop, because Mother 1 doesn't come with save states whereas like a lot of uh, NES games do come with save states, but this is a different ROM. It's not an actual ROM that you download from MU Paradise or anything like that. It's a ROM that you get from a website other than MU Paradise, and it's like its own separate website. It's an Earthbound website that gives off fan translations for Mother 3 and Mother 1, so it's not a real... it's not a... I wouldn't say, yeah, it's not really an official ROM, it's not like Mega Man or anything like that where it comes with save states when you save on the emulator. But anyway, cut a long story short, um, I will have to postpone the LP when I do get my new laptop so I can catch up to where I was in that on in the LP, wherever I, wherever I happen to be at the time it does get here, so... Oh god, the lag is killing me. <laughs> So yeah, that's the downs and the lows of um, what's going on in the future, basically. There's nothing else to it, just... I haven't found any of the acorns. You have to find acorns that you talk to in here. I think i found two so far, but... You have to, like, rescue them, I think. I'm not sure if you have to do puzzles for them. Like if there are any acorns up ahead that you have to do puzzles for. Uh, but there is a locked door here, so that means that there is a puzzle up ahead somewhere. That will unlock that for us. And yes, there is. Okay, alright, uh, we're kind of blocked off here, but I'm just going to push this one down in here. This one down there, like that. Well, that's simple enough. Boom. Oh, red ants. <laughs> 
Yeah, trying to ground pound on the red ants is a huge pain in the ass. You want to try and get them with your conkers, because... Well, you should know by now that if you stomp on them, you take a lot of damage. Acorn, fr Acorn friends still to find five, so we got to find another five more. Yeah, you have to rescue all the acorns before you can find the evil acorn. Um, we're not going around in a loop here, are we? Because I don't know if we're going back or forth. No, we're definitely going forward. So I don't remember coming across here before. Oh god, oh, oh, jeez, oh, 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 no, not the boulder. Well, I'm making a save here just in case I die. Because, oh shoot, well, I'm all the way back here again. You're kidding me. Took me all the way straight back to the door. And now we have to face off with the spider again. Well, screw that, I'm just going to jump over you. Yeah, that's right, sucker. Uh, no, you can't. <laughs> How the hell are you going to get away from that? What the hell? Hmm. I guess you're supposed to, like, run left, and there will be, like, a bunch of blocks that the boulder goes into, and then it breaks up or something, like you had to in the Aztec temple. Yeah, I'll give it a try, but... God damn, those boulders are annoying to avoid, though. Because they come at you so quickly. I don't know if I'll be able to get all this final area done in this one episode, because that's kind of insane. <laughs> so, basically I'm going to get as much done as I can. Oh, dude. Okay, alright, three, two, one, go. Ah, oh, how did that not kill me, seriously? It didn't, act, that boulder actually didn't kill me. <laughs> uh, that's the first. That's uh, just a dead end there, alright. Fair enough. Yeah, we got another puzzle here. I imagine there's another acorn behind that door. Um, you don't get any presents in here, by the way, if I hadn't already mentioned that. Uh, no, there are no presents to be found in this place. So you haven't got to worry about present finding as such. Yeah, you push that one down. Yeah, like that. Uh, There you go. No, there's no acorn in here. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, I'm gonna die. No, save it in here. Save it in here before that thing kills you. Ugh, dude, seriously, no. Okay. I don't know what the hell this thing is. I've always wanted... I always call them elephant plants. Like I have done in the LP. <laughs> Hmm, well, there's so many ways, so many options here. Ah, oh, screw that. Ah, here's an acorn. Uh, we've got four more left to find. So, yeah, we're definitely making progress. Oh, is this a... That looks very walkable. Ah, oh, yeah, it is. Just a little tunnel there that gives you some health back. Yeah, but... If I do finish this game on the emulator, I don't really consider myself actually beating the game because the Mako Islands was so ridiculously easy, it took all the challenge out of it doing it on the emulator, but if you do it on the Game Boy, the challenge is really tough, so that's why I consider myself not to have finished the game on the emulator, because playing it on the Game Boy is relentlessly hard, and that takes true skill. <laughs> to beat it on the Game Boy, so me finishing it on the emulator isn't really me finishing it, I don't actually consider me finishing it at all. I know that sounds kind of stupid, but if you actually play it on the Game Boy for yourself, then you'll understand where I'm coming from when I say that, because, yeah. And besides, I think 
playing games on the emulator does take out a lot of the challenge of it anyway. Um, because you can use save states and stuff whenever you want, but for this LP I actually haven't used many save states. Like, I stopped using save states after I made that screw up in the Aztec temple. But beyond, but beyond that, um, I think that's part 17, I think I stopped using save states, something around there. Yeah, part 17, something stupid like that. Uh, I stopped using save states. Because that's what messed me up and that's what caused that file to corrupt because I couldn't recover my save state before the file corrupted so I could redo the episode again and that's why I didn't use any save states and I've been using the manual save because the manual save kind of works effectively like a save state because when you die you start off straight from where you saved which is really good alright I'm going to make uh, okay I was getting a bit ahead of myself there I was trying to run through this without getting any without trying to take any damage but uh, that didn't work out too good I've run out of acorns, crap. <laughs> and there's a locked door there. Oh boy, so that means there's another puzzle lurking around somewhere, doesn't it? Uh, is it in here? God, I don't know where this is taking me, but I see another acorn though. Uh, beyond that locked door. Oh, there's so many locked doors around here. And not many puzzles that I can find. Well, I found one door that has the puzzles in it, so here we go. Alright. Yeah, that was simple enough. Just up. Wait. No, it's not. I just messed it up. <laughs> Seriously? You say it's easy, and then you messed it up. Yeah. You gotta make sure you push that one first. Alright, now we just head back to wherever the acorn was, it's in here. And two more left to find. Yeah, I better make a save, otherwise I'm gonna die. Alright, I'll do it in here. Yeah, but there was another locked door down here, wasn't there? Or did that uh, puzzle also unlock this door? No, it didn't. Well, I'll be damned then. Well, there's not really much interesting in there anyway, by the looks of things. It's just eight, well, conkers. That's about it. Right, where did I come from up here? Did I come up from here? Yeah, I did. Crap. <laughs> okay, yeah, I was heading in the right direction. You have to go this way. Silly me, making mistakes. Oh, God. Uh, those things can stay away from me. Ah, you're gonna get me in the corner, are you? Ugh, and this thing. Damn. But I can't avoid that. That's just chasing me. Uh, yeah, get away. Go. Just keep moving. No, don't retrace your steps. Go forward. Keep going forward and then let me pass. Right, you know what? Screw you. I'm just gonna jump it these spikes and wait here I guess for you to move nope <laughs> okay just blatantly walk straight into it that works yeah that's a great idea just walk straight into that blobby thing and get yourself killed fantastic alright go down yeah those things can stop following me now and that spider's gonna follow me in here isn't it while I'm doing this puzzle. Yeah, that has to go up. Wait, no it doesn't. Nope, that's wrong. This goes down first, then that goes up. And that goes there like that. And goes there. Boom. Ah. I don't know what door that unlocked, but I imagine it's somewhere out around here. Oh, great, we got another boulder. Which is probably going to kill me. No, it's not. Okay, that was easy to avoid. Huh. Wait, what that? Wait, no, what? What? No, wait. 
Oh no, 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 I, I've i had enough of you. I've planted a bomb and this whole place is going to... I didn't know this was the end, what the hell? In five minutes you are all doomed. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Oh, y you're kidding. What? What? That's Barry, that's my girlfriend. What the hell's she doing here? Conquer, I didn't think you were coming. Let's go, the clock is ticking. I hope you know the way back. No, I don't. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell's going on? The whole place is gonna blow. Dude, run for your life. <laughs> uh, if I can remember my way out. I didn't even save all the acorns, man. They're gonna die. The whole place is gonna blow up and those poor acorns that are left in here are gonna die. Ah, oh, crap. I don't even know if you had to save them all or whether it matters, but... No, it wasn't this way. It was this way. Oh, come on. This is so cruel. What the hell? You can't do this to someone, make them rush and try and get out of here without knowing where they have to go. Because I don't know. Do you, oh, wait, yeah, I am heading in the right direction. Okay, I'm going to make it. I can't even save. I can't even save. And now the spider's trying to block me. And this one too. Yeah, you can get out of here. Ugh. Run, just keep, just avoid every monster, every enemy. And try and get out. What? No, that's dead end. Dead end. Oh my god. What the hell? There, I. S you got to be kidding me. That that could, that. Could, what? No, that's not a dead end. I swear to God. Wait. Am I going? I don't know where I'm going right now. Oh my god. No, I died. Holy crap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, that was a bit crazy and a bit hectic. I didn't know where I was going there. Damn it. <laughs> okay, I don't want to head in that direction. Because that's where the... Technically where the final boss is, but... The, the final boss is basically you trying to get out of the whole place before the bomb explodes. Yeah, you have to get out before you die. So, I don't know if you have to save every... Um... Every acorn. Because I swear that path... I want to check if that path was actually a dead end or not. Because I don't remember that path being a dead end. Let me just check. Well, that's definitely a dead end. But that's not the path I was talking about. It's up here. Yeah. Come up here and avoid all the spiders. What was that? Fire thing. Yeah, it actually is a dead end. What the hell? I don't remember it being a dead end. Ugh. I don't know then. But I swear you have to save all the acorns. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm just like wandering around trying to f find out what the hell's going on here. I also need plenty of acorns if I want to get out of this place because there are a lot of enemies to get past and I know that I don't have enough acorns to get out of here no not acorns, conkers for my slingshot to get out of here without dying We're just going around in circles now, aren't we? We just end up straight back to where he was. Right, I need to figure out my path and try and find out how you get out of here. So, And then I'll end off the episode because I need to practice this. Otherwise I'm going to screw it up. I want to have a clear mind of where I'm going before I do this. Yeah, uh, you know what, I might as well end off the episode here and continue on the next episode because we're not going to get this done anyway, not today. Um, so yeah, in the next episode of Let's Play Conquest Pocket Tales, we shall continue on in the catacombs, hopefully find the last two acorns that are missing inside the catacombs, rescue Barry, and end off the LP. Uh, so, I guess until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching, take care everybody, see you in my next video, and goodbye.